What is the value of the expression? I'm going to begin by simplifying this a little bit. I have 1, 2, 3, 4n. So I'm going to put those together. 4n minus x minus y minus z minus k. And I'm also going to group those negative terms together in parentheses so that it is minus the sum of x plus y plus z plus k. Okay, this is a considerably neater form of the expression. So now I'm ready to move on to the statements. Statement number one says that the average of x, y, z, and k is n. So the average, add them up, x plus y plus z plus k over 4 equals n. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 4, so I get that x plus y plus z plus k equals 4n. Well, now this is interesting because this is looking a lot like this expression here. It's looking a lot like the expression we need to find. And in fact, if I just put parentheses around that whole side and subtract it, I get 4n equals, sorry, 0 equals 4n minus the quantity x plus y plus z plus k. And so statement number one actually allows us to find a value for the expression. It equals zero. So statement number one is sufficient for evaluating the expression. Now forget about statement number one, statement number two. Statement number two tells us that x, y, z, and k are consecutive integers. Okay, so one right after the other. Well, that's interesting, but statement number two gives us no information about n. And because we have no information about n, we cannot evaluate the expression. So statement number two by itself is insufficient. One is sufficient, two is insufficient. Answer choice A.